Okay, some might ask, uh, why did my career terminate when it did? It's, it's a damn good question. Uh, 33 and a half years, but it didn't end the way I would like to have, and I'm certainly not going to go into the gory details of that. But it wasn't fair, and it took a lot of fighting, but eventually, after about five years of it, the, the department, to their credit, said, hmm, this wasn't fair, uh, and they paid some compensation. Uh, was it the correct amount? That's between them and me. Uh, what I'm now concerned about, of course, is getting fairness for those who are loyal to me over all those years, because they deserve to be treated fairly as well. Everyone who puts on a uniform for this country deserves to be treated fairly. And the troops are not. That's why we have families living in near poverty because their indexation is not keeping abreast with their cost of living increases. I had a great email last night from a, from a person. When he retired in 87, he was getting paid $12,113. In, per annum for his superannuation. 24 years later, he's only now getting paid 27000 He's going backwards. And that shouldn't be the case. He was a major in the army. 24 years later, in all he's getting is $27,000. Over that period, the politicians, well, not over that period, over the last 10 years, and this will really raise some eyebrows, over the last 10 years the politician's superannuation has gone up 91%. The pensioners has gone up 97% and what's the servicemen's gone up? 33%. That's not fair. 